My name is Franklin Lay and I'm the diver with Bullfrog Underwater Services. We're a commercial diving company on Clear Lake. Uh, my job takes me all around the lake and I've seen through several years uh, what the Primrose is doing on the lake. And the effects it's having, how widespread it's become, and that's caused me to be pretty concerned about what we have here. Uh, this is kind of a nightmare plant and it's very aggressive. It's spreading by seed as far as I can tell and it's getting everywhere and that seems to be an exponential sort of deal where it used to be here and there, thick in some spots, not even appearing in others, but now with my job getting me all around the lake, I'm really seeing it everywhere. So, you know, a lot of people have a lot to lose if the shoreline goes away on Clear Lake. And I think that's the threat that we're looking at. Uh, in certain places, access is already diminished to the point where you can't run a boat out. And if that happens on a big grand scale, it's gonna be devastating. So that's my concern. And meanwhile, every day we lose ground to this plant. Uh, and most people haven't even heard of it don't really know the threat or even what it looks like. I tell people everywhere I go, don't let this get established here. Hi, I'm Angela the Palma Dow. I'm Invasive Species Program Coordinator for Lake County uh, Water Resources and the Watershed Protection District. I'm here today at Lucerne Harbor Park. We're doing a uh, invasive species removal project and restoration project. Uh, today it's July, so we're doing the invasive species removal portion. And the species that we are targeted on is called Creeping Water Primrose. You've probably seen it around Clear Lake. It's got bright green leaves. Here's a little bit of it right here. It will have a really pretty yellow flower and it can get pretty tall, two to three feet tall, and it creeps and it gets everywhere. It can obstruct channels, be navigation hazards. Um, it also is a public health hazard. Too much primrose will harbor the mosquitoes that carry West Nile virus. One of the things we're doing with this project is removing the primrose, managing the primrose, and then we're gonna follow through with some native plantings. For example, this is a natural native plant uh, shoreline area. We have a native smartweed here. You can see there's a bee pollinating it. Um, this little pink stalk. You can see the smartweed, it grows very tall, straight. It doesn't creep like the primrose. So it's really more beneficial for wildlife when there's water here, the fish can swim through it, the ducks, the waterfowl, they can all use the species um, in a way they can't with the primrose. You can also see that we have the tule here, or the bulrush um, growing with the uh, smartweed. Um, and this is really important for lake ecology and as well as a cultural beneficial use um, plant. And so the goal is for us to restore shorelines from just all 100% creeping water primrose to mixed native species communities like with the smartweed uh, and the tool. My name is Diana O'Cloud. I work over at Terra, crew member at Terra. I am pulling um, primrose. Primrose is a very in invasive species. Um, it's very bad for our lakes. It chokes out all of our native plants, especially our tulies and our smartweed. Um, we need our tulies to help filter our lake and we need them for certain fish. Also, we also use tulies for our cultural benefits as well and it's not hard to pull it just take a couple minutes outside every day in the cool and just pull some smart wheat I mean some primrose and that helps get rid of it all right so here's one of the primroses <clears throat> they have really long roots that grow they grow out out and then cover all the uh, the native plants and basically it's so invasive that it blocks them out basically killing them, suffocating them, and it just plans to take over everything. So that's why we're out here picking all of them up from the root out to kill them. So that way we can push it back all the uh, primroses we can possibly. So I want to show you something. Got fish. This plant is just as happy free floating in the water with these types of roots as it is being rooted in the mud, which is as to the challenge. It's an aquatic plant 
loves the water and it's really well adapted to just take off and spread like crazy. And we're working under a grant right now from the Department of Pesticide Regulation from the state of California. So we're really excited for this project. We got a great crew. This project will be going until 2025. We'll be working at sites um, like here, Lucerne Park, the, wet, the Wright Wetland Preserve by the Lake County Land Trust, Anderson Marsh, Cache Creek area, Clarks Island, and the State Park. If you have any questions about this project or anything that has to do with the lake or water quality, you can always call us at Lake County Water Resources at 707-263-2344. And you can also find us on Facebook at Lake County Water. Thank you so much.